Hey, dude. What's up? Hey, man. I heard you were looking for shit to review. Got a flight to New Malusia to send out probably today or tomorrow. Just my pride and joy. Just keep her safe. Be careful. She bites. Okay, it's finally time we talk about the Kershaw Lucha, which is a very, very interesting and rare case because this is not one knife. It is three separate knives that are kind of one knife, but are really different and unique from each other. What I mean by that is that there's three main different handles to the Kershaw Lucha. One of them is the stock handles, which I have right here. They're not currently on my Lucha, but I have flipped with them quite a bit. So I have some thoughts on them. Two of the other ones are made by a beautiful company called Flytanium, one of those being the aluminum channel handles. I have these right here. These are my own handles. This is my personal knife. And the third ones I don't currently have on me because I did have to send them back, but those are the Flytanium titanium handles. Huge, massive thank you goes out to Micah for letting me borrow their titanium handle Lucha. This video would not have been possible without them. And trying the titanium handles was really what kind of sparked this whole video idea in the first place. So big, big thank you to them. I'll leave all their links in the description. So starting with design, let's start aesthetically. I actually really like the look of the stock handles. I think they offer this really cool diamond pattern that is just really fitting for the knife itself. I like this very 3D. They have cutouts, they have divots, they have angles and all that stuff. I think it just looks really cool, really sleek, especially if you get them black washed. The dark handles look sick. Second, we have the aluminum channel handles, which are honestly my favorite because they take the stuff I like about the stock handles, the angles and different 3D designs, and makes them bigger and offers you a bunch more colors. I think they look really sick, both open and closed. Super clean, super sleek, and especially if you get them in a cool color, they look beautiful. Flytanium has some really good anodizing colors. So if you get these in a blue, an orange, a purple, they're gonna look beautiful. Third is the titanium handles, which are honestly my least favorite in terms of aesthetics. However, they do offer something really, really cool, which is that they're titanium. So you can anodize them any way you want. Micah had anodized their bite handle before they sent it out to me. So you'll see in some of the B-roll that it has this really nice gradient to it. Anodizing on titanium is a basically endless amount of possibilities. So if you have experience with anodization or you can send it out to someone who does, you can make your Lucha look absolutely awesome. Specs wise is where things get very, very interesting because the stock handles that come with the Lucha are sandwich handles that are made of stainless steel, which is in my opinion, the worst possible option they could have gone with. I have no idea why they chose stainless steel. I don't know who really likes the stainless steel over something like the aluminum or titanium handles, but the main problem is that they are heavy. They are unreasonably heavy. Just this pair of the steel handles alone weighs almost as much as the entirety of the aluminum knife, blade included. I believe the Lucha with the stock handles comes in at almost six ounces or it's like five and a half ounces or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it is honestly not great. However, the weight is good for one thing and that is it being an EDC knife. If you want to buy a cheap knife to EDC and take to work with you, the stock Lucha is absolutely amazing for it. It is a complete tank. If this thing hits the ground, it's going to dent the ground before you dent your knife. The weight and the grip on the handles means it's not going anywhere if you hit something pretty hard. It's gonna stay in your hands and you can get a really good cut with it. The purpose of the Lucha is definitely to be an EDC knife, which I'll talk about later. But overall, the stock handles are just, 
They're just not it for me personally. If they would have manufactured this at the $120 price tag and given it something like aluminum handles that have a good balance and a good weight, this would be a phenomenal knife. But I think stock, it just kind of misses the mark if you plan to flip with it. We're gonna talk about the titanium handles next because I feel like those are what the stock handles wish they were. The titanium handles bring this knife to a comfortable around 4.6 ounces, I believe, which is very, very standard and is very, very comfortable to most people. But the titanium handles are pretty solid. I like them a lot. They're titanium, so obviously they're strong. It just kind of takes what the stock Lucha was trying to be and just makes it overall better in basically every way. Now, the aluminum handles are by far my favorite favorite. The whole knife is 4.6 ounces with them on, which just like the titanium handles is a very standard weight and is a very comfortable weight. Now I have the V1 aluminum handles. I know the V2 are a lot better. They added jimping and overall rounded the corners, so it feels a lot nicer. But even on the V1, it's fairly grippy. I like the 3D texturing they did on it. It honestly feels really good and it is a good indicator of where you are on the knife. I think it looks fantastic and it serves its purpose really, really well. Aesthetically, it's definitely my favorite and also I just really really am a fan of just the standard channel aluminum handles. It's what I got used to, it's what I like a lot, so this is definitely my favorite overall design-wise. I think durability-wise, the titanium is probably going to be your best bet, just because it's titanium. But the aluminum channel handles are the ones that I feel the most comfortable dropping because they're very thick, they're very bulky, and it's channel handles. And I think channel lends itself to more durability because there's less failure points. There's less little screws to break, there's less movement. The Lucha, no matter what handles you use, is on bearings, which is a little interesting and a little weird to get used to. I'm not quite sure how I feel about them. I understand the appeal and yes, they are very fast, but I think the bearings might take away a little bit from the premium feeling that something like a Kraken has. Just because you get that little bit of jitteriness, you get that little bit of noise and kind of grind that comes with any bearings unless they're absolutely perfect. Granted, I have yet to try bearings that are honestly really, really good because both of the luchas that I've tried have been fairly old and fairly worn in. Micah's lucha was a little bit grindy, but it also had some squeaking. My lucha is just really old and the tolerances are not that great. So I can't give a definitive answer if the bearings are good or not. But if you've tried bearings before, you obviously have your own opinions. And if if you're buying the Lucha brand new, I have a feeling the bearings will be really good. It's just that mine were old and worn in, so they were a little bit shaky. Now this is where things get fun, because we're gonna talk about flipping. Flipping with the stock handles. Don't do it. That's, that's, that's my advice, just don't. Just don't even bother. Now, I understand that a lot of people like a lot of different weights, different handle sizes, different of a lot of things, but the stock handles, I just really can't get behind. Something about the Lucha with the stock handles just doesn't feel good. The amount of effort you have to put in to do even basic tricks is really tiring on the wrists. And with just how heavy this thing is, if you make one wrong move, you could end up hurting yourself really bad. The stock handles for the Lucha I just didn't enjoy flipping at all. I'm not very big on exact specifications and balances and little minute details. I'm more of the overall feel and how much I have fun with the knife. And the stock Lucha handles were definitely one of the least enjoyable flipping experiences I've had. It's just not fun, you know? I didn't find myself wanting to pick it up. I didn't find myself eager to flip more. After flipping for a few minutes, I was just kind of done with it and I was just ready to put it away. The titanium handles are honestly pretty solid. They take the Lucha from a pretty bad flipper to being a fairly mid-range flipper. It's not the best in the world. It's not amazing, but it's definitely a competent flipper and I felt a lot more comfortable with them. Putting on the titanium handles was a complete game changer and I actually found myself picking the Lucha back up after I had set it down and I was genuinely starting to enjoy flipping it. This is where I started to realize the appeal of the Lucha because flipping the titanium handles felt just like a pretty solid quality balisson. Now the Kershaw Lucha, no matter what handles you go with, doesn't ever exceed that point of being an amazing balisson. In my opinion, with the right handles for your preference, it's a fairly good knife, but flipping wise, I don't think it really contests to something like a Kraken or a Marin Light or a Koenig. It's almost there but it's just missing something, and I don't really know what it is, but it just doesn't have that, that special sauce that those other knives have. 
The aluminum handles are overall, I said it in the design portion, but they are just my favorite. First and foremost, they are absolutely huge. They are completely massive. They are bigger than the Kraken. They're bigger than my Marin Light, which is already a huge knife. It is the biggest knife I own and it's not even close. But I personally really like big knives. So flipping a huge knife like this, while it remains a standard weight at 4.6 ounces, is honestly pretty good. I think the aluminum handles are the best when it comes to flipping the Lucha. It offers an experience that's a little more unique and a little more fun. All of these handles have a little bit of a handle bias with the stock handles being just aggressively handle bias and the titanium and the aluminum handles being just slightly handle bias. And I think the slight handle bias combined with the normal kind of medium range weight combined with just how long this thing is honestly makes it a pretty cool flipper. And I feel like I'm holding a sword half the time. I think if I got one brand new with new titanium handles and good tolerances. I think this thing would honestly be really fun to flip. Mine's a little bit beat up, so mine doesn't give me the best experience. But overall, I definitely see the appeal of the aluminum handles. Honestly, I don't have much of a complaint flipping wise with these. It's just a matter of, to me, it's lacking that little bit of extra spice that some other knives have. But flipping wise, if you get an aluminum handle Lucha, I think you're probably going to really enjoy it. I definitely enjoy mine. I just have other knives that I prefer to flip more. But overall, the aluminum Lucha gets probably like an 8 out of 10 for me. I don't like rating things, but it's really a hard thing to talk about because it's so preference-based and everyone might like different handles. But I think flipping-wise, the Aluminum Lucha just flows the best. It feels the best to flip. It's the most fun, and honestly, it's my favorite of the bunch, like I've said numerous times. But flipping is not exactly what I think this knife was meant to be used for. I think, personally, where this knife stands in my collection, in anyone's collection, and I think what it was designed for is the absolute king of being an EDC knife. If you don't know, EDC stands for everyday carry. It's a knife you bring with you to work, a knife you cut open boxes with, a knife you just keep in your pocket or in a sheath for daily use. And the Kershaw Lucha absolutely excels at that. This thing is a complete tank. It's going to take a beating. The handles are huge and chunky, so you get a good grip on them. The blade is massive and it's very sharp, and I think this knife is just amazing at being a carry knife. I recently moved down to Florida, so I wanted to buy a live blade specifically for EDCing, and the Kershaw Lucha was the first thing that came to mind, and it was definitely the right option. This thing really is the EDC king, and if you're buying a knife for EDC purposes, 100% you should get a Lucha. The bearings are super easy to tune, you just set it and forget it. It'll take one hell of a beating, and it's just a monster to cut things open with. However, if you're a flipper and you're only buying it for flipping, I don't know if I'd recommend this. It's definitely unique, it's definitely weird, and if you get one brand new with great tolerances, it's definitely gonna be fun to flip, but to me, it just doesn't have that special spice that some other knives have. It's just overall really solid, but I think there are some more interesting options out there. I still love this thing, I'm not getting rid of it, it is staying in my collection, because I do still genuinely enjoy having it. I enjoy whipping it out to use it as an actual EDC knife, and every once in a while I do like flipping it around. It's definitely a solid knife and you really can't go wrong if you get the aluminum or titanium handles, but I wouldn't say it's one of the best of the best in terms of flipping experience. Now of course my opinions are a little different because I have more expensive and different knives in my collection. Now when I was debating buying one I asked my friend Odo for his opinion because he doesn't have the other knives that I have, but what he does have is a brand new aluminum handle Lucha. And he honestly really loves the thing. He says it's his favorite flipper even over his brand new Squid Trainer 3.5. And he said when you get them brand new the tolerances are amazing and it's a blast to flip. And honestly, I completely believe them. I have no doubt that if you get them brand new, they're gonna be well worth the price tag, which, which the price tag is very weird. If you get the stock handles, it's only 120 bucks and that's all you have to pay. But if you wanna go with the flitanium handles, you have to make two separate purchases. You have to buy the knife once and then buy the handle separately, which is a little weird, but both of the flitanium handles will bring your purchase up to around 220 to around 230. When you get into that price range, it is starting to compete with knives like the Marin Light or the Kraken or the Koenig, which are very, very tough competitors to this thing. I honestly believe Odo when he says that a brand new aluminum Kershaw Lucha is his favorite flipper, and he thinks it's totally worth it. And honestly, I do too. It's one of those things that you should probably try before you buy it just to make sure you like it. But luckily, there are a ton of these things on the secondhand market. They're very easy to find because Kershaw as a company makes everything readily available. So if you just go on Balasong Sale on Instagram, I guarantee you'll find a few of them if you just look for a few minutes. They're easy to get your hands on. They're relatively affordable. 
So yeah, I do recommend them, especially as an EDC knife. These things are the absolute EDC king and it's uncontested. I definitely think it's a really solid knife. In my opinion, it's just missing a little bit of that extra special flair that I wish it had. But I really like the aluminum handles. I feel like they are the best option for the Lucha. But of course, it's up to you. You might like the titanium and you might even like the stock handles. I definitely recommend you give all three of them a shot. I'm sure you'll be able to find someone willing to at least temporary trade with you. But yeah, the Lucha is going to stay in my collection because it's very interesting. I think it looks really, really cool, especially the custom acid wash blade I have. And it is one hell of an EDC knife. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. The links to everyone who helped out with this video will be in the description. Next up, I'll be reviewing the Marin Light, which spoiler alert, is my favorite knife I've ever touched. And also my beautiful baby boy, the Kraken. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.